Trying to make uh, digital contacts across the country. Uh, it's really kind of a point and click thing, but uh, it uh, works out pretty well. Dan's been kind of bad, I haven't gotten that many contacts lately, but uh, it's, it's working out all right. And you can see the, they're making a contact. The W9, W3BN is talking to W9SSC, and he's 3 Alpha in Wisconsin. And you asked him if you're SL, and he said, Yeah, thanks, and uh, back we go. Now I'm going to try to contact W3S, W9SSC. You can see my print out here is printing what is outlining here and underlining down below and now I'm finished transmitting and we'll wait and see if he wants to uh, contact me or if he can hear me. And this little area down here, tell, that's where I'm tr actually transmitting. The signal is only about 31 cycles wide so you've got a whole bunch of signals going through here at one time. One of the advantages of this form of communications is the fact that we can pack a lot of communications at very small bandwidth, about three KCs. Uh, we've got all those contacts going on. And no reply, so we'll try elsewhere. This is Whiskey Charlie, Whiskey Charlie. Whiskey Tree Charlie, Whiskey Charlie. Six Alpha Mountain Let's see if we can get him. We haven't worked in before, it says. So we'll put his call sign in here, and uh, when he sends CQ, we'll try to contact him. Sometimes we have to wait a long time because he may be talking to somebody that we can't hear. The brighter the display, the better the signal. But you can see there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And he's got a really broad signal. Thirteen, fourteen contacts going on all at the same time.